A lot of people will tell you that Shang Tsung is one of the most difficult characters to learn, not to mention to master in MK1. But I'm here to tell you guys that it's actually not true. He's actually very easy. And after you watch at least five minutes, you will learn him. And if you watch the whole thing, you will master him. Let's switch to the almighty control cam uh, that is very professional and allow me to explain Shang Tsung to you. So let's start with his most basic combos, the combo that you will do like 99% of the time, okay? So, very easy to do. Just need to know a bit the timing, see? If you do it too early, it will cause to basically float over you. So you can do even more damage than this. You can do like 38.8 with a more, just a tad complicated, but I'm opting to do easy one for me personally that I can hit every single time, okay? For me, it's not worth it to push for 1% more damage if I know I cannot hit it consistently. His other combo that you can do is from uh, his low. He has a low star, yes. It's very unsafe, but... There you go. 30, almost 34% uh, damage of a low, no meter. Third combo. Thirty percent. You're gonna find that you're gonna catch a lot of people with this low. So uh, when it comes to the corner, I do this. And you know, full screen, you can do fireballs. You know, you, you can do enhance uh, low fireballs and what have you, and even swap them in the corner again. But why? Why do I not keep them in the corner? Because Shang is more powerful mid range long range this is where you want to you know create your your offensive make them struggle make them uh, you know before they get in they already like half life okay because of the blocks uh, and you have a lot of meter you can break you build meter and whenever you're you know in range with them here comes striker here comes the mix-ups uh, and the block string believe it or not these are the only combos you're gonna use with old shang i know it's hard to believe i know you probably think there's a lot more combos to do and they are of course but Trust me, these are the most consistent, the most uh, often that you're gonna use. And the other ones are just, you know, gimmicks or very situational. And you're most likely gonna dabble with them after you master these. Okay, just for the fun of it. But just to get you started, not to make it overly complicated, just learn these ones, okay? Here is where the shape-shifting uh, combos come into play. You kinda need them, uh, and it's not that difficult. Thirty-two, and you have like a nice little swag. You can uh, obviously shape shift and go into some other stuff. So yeah, this is my go-to punish when it comes to young form. In case you know I block something major, so keep that in mind. His other option is one right here. There we go. A bit more less damage, but you know it's more swaggy, obviously, and also it's not that good. It's only 10 frame to start up, so I do recommend only going for this. So okay, so these are the major combos when it comes to Shang Tsung that I use personally without cameos, without nothing, and also I don't recommend using cameos into combos with Shang. Okay, it doesn't really matter. His damage is all already very good with no meter, and use your cameo just for pressure or for mix-ups. How do we shape shift? right so this is the elephant in the room a lot of people seems to be confused when it comes to a particular string you know and i'm not gonna finish it you know the deal i don't want to waste your time but a lot of people struggle to shape shift after this so in my opinion don't even bothering going for this okay i know it looks cool but in the beginning don't go for this you're gonna be under a lot of pressure, you're probably gonna experience some anxiety when it comes to some games online. And doing this in a real game is just gonna mess with your head. You're gonna be lost, you're gonna lose on a lot of stuff. I will just say, if you're in young form and you get the opportunity to use the 4-4, just go for this, okay? Just go for that, or you can just go for this, okay? And be safe. And obviously, go for that or meter burn it to be extra safe and just continue with the pressure. So this is my personal opinion. If you really want to go through the struggle of learning this, go ahead. But just to get you started, I will say just, just stick with this, okay? Just stick with this for the beginning or some other strings or just stagger on with this and that's it. But the way I do it is very simple. 
first I press the down. First you need to press the down every single time. Sometimes we'll go even if you press the same time, but sometimes as you can see here, it's stand switch. So if you press first down and then the stand switch, it will always switch. Condition yourself into pressing ba-boom like this, okay? And then continue the string like normal, okay? Trust me, it's hard and I, even today, I'm sometimes I uh, mess it up. If I face a good player and uh, it's very stressful and I, my focus level is not up to par, I'm just gonna stick with this and I lose nothing, okay? Absolutely nothing because you can, you can cancel off of this. You can just play your normal string like normal, okay? So that's my opinion on this uh, infamous uh, shape-shifting string, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go into some block strings and mix-ups. What to do if your opponent is very good and, you know, blocks. <laughs> because if you don't block, you're gonna lose, obviously. The way I do it is use Striker. In particular, for me personally, right now, after the patch, after everything, Striker is the best cameo for Shang Tsung. So the reason I like Striker more than uh, Kung Lao, for example, is the mix-ups, okay, so, and the block pressure. Eventually, eventually, all the setups with Kung Lao, all the mix-ups that you supposedly have will get countered by a good opponent. But with Striker, no matter how good they are, they cannot block everything. And you're super plus after. Even if they block, it's still your turn. Let's just say you go for your normal string, okay? Go for your normal string. You're calling Striker, and they block overhead, right? The thing is, you're still plus six. That means you can sneak in, nice little poke, or you can even continue with a 4-4 four, four and catch them. It's a nice little frame trap. And if you want to mix it up, just go for the low. And you're still plus one on block. And you can have like a six frame, okay? You can still poke them faster, okay? <laughs> it's, it's just insane how good this character is, okay? This cameo. Also, you can cancel it off of this. You don't really need to finish the string. That's what I'm saying. And another thing that I like to do is what Cyrex used to do. Make you safe and chip them, okay? The chip damage is gonna be insane. Something like that, okay? Something like that. You do a lot of chip, okay? Around 15 to 20 percent damage. Another little block string that I like to do to go even further beyond is do the same thing, like and end it with this, okay? And you now do over 20 percent damage, okay? Keep that in mind when it comes to Shang Tsung. This is some some blocks that are almost 99 percent guaranteed, uh, even against a good player. I faced a lot of even god players, elder gods, and they cannot do a lot of stuff against this particular string, block string, okay? Uh, there are some niche uh, situations when uh, strikers' bombs will not hit, okay? That means will not armor break, okay? So for example, Reptile can actually punish this. Okay, as you can see, not only has a lot more slower startup, but also gets low. But for example, Johnny Cage, see, you just need to timing, learn the timing with it, okay, and that's it. They cannot do anything about it. You're just gonna armor break them every single time uh, when it comes to that string, you know. It, but you can also remember, you can mix it up. You don't need to end it every single time in this, okay? You can just bait it out. And that's it. It's a full combo punish. So these are the main blocks from when it comes to uh, Shang Tsung. I have a lot of videos in real games that you can see that I prove that this is actually very optimal uh, and very consistent. Just go watch them. I don't want to, you know, make this video too long for uh, for you. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Just want to give you like some cool stuff just to get you started with Shang Tsung. Okay, so this section right here is an, some nice little hidden tips when it comes to Shang Tsung, no matter the cameo, okay? Let's just say you just, you, you know, finish your, you know, normal combo punish and you switch, right? You condition them with this. Let's just say you hit them like two or three times with the combo and you switch into Young Shang, right? And now they're gonna neutral bucket. They expect it. Well, let's just say you get them again and you will get them, obviously, eventually. You switch, right? They can see you're in Yang Shang, or you, you condition them. 
But right before they get up, you switch back to old and you go for this. Super easy. It's not a lot of damage, but keep in mind you already did around 40% uh, damage. And now you just did another extra 20% damage. So uh, it adds up. So yeah, this is this is a nice little trick that works even on extremely good players. I faced a lot of uh, high level ranks. You just watch my, my online videos and you see I, I catch a lot of people off guard. They only want to dash, you know, they don't want to get zoned out. If they put this, every time they get the chance, they're going to dash forward. They're going to neutral dog. They're not going to block. And that, that's why even if you, you know, I already switch. Boom. Some other stuff that I like to do is, uh, let's just say I go for a nice little grab. I switch mid and go for overhead, another overhead. Then I switch, go for low and do the combo. Okay, this one in particular looks complicated, but it's very easy as you can see. Just off of that, nice little mix up, and you're already, you know, mid screen, long range, and you can do whatever you want with them. Okay, a lot of people want to use uh, Kun Lao for obvious reason, low hat in particular, and I use them from time to time, but in my opinion, Striker is the best. Because you, you know, you have more options and, you know, it's more safe and even if they block it, they cannot really get used to your style because a striker is a mix-up machine. But with Kung Lao, you're only going to have the low hat. So they're going to expect that there is a gap, they can armor through it. Eventually, a good player will just punish your ass, okay? Even the, you know, the almighty setup that I, uh, you probably watch some of my videos where I, you know, use the setup in particular. And that's it, basically. Uh, and now you're in the corner. And, you know, you can mix it up. You can go for overhead. You know, you can go for low. Uh, or this. Actually, this one. Even if they block it, you're safe. Okay? You're even plus, on, plus one. And you can, you know, uh, sneak in a nice little jab. So the setup with this is very strong, as you can see. But eventually, you know, what I noticed is people will adapt. Eventually, if you face good players, will adapt and either jump out of it. Okay, jump out of the setup, don't respect, or armor through it. Okay, they can armor through the low hat very easily by the time you get to them, okay, or even hit you. So it's not that hard to, you know, to counter. That's the thing. If it's not for the setup, why do you use Kung Lao? Low hat, okay, it's good. Let's be honest. If they counter your low hat with an armor, what do you do then? Other than that, you have nothing. That's why, in my opinion, Striker gives you a lot more stuff. Sometimes, you know, for fun matchups, you know. Or you know that or more casual I might do something like this just to mess with them you know obviously when you do the jump in you can go for this okay so it does link but you want to do swaggy combo so this is my answer if you wanna if you want to do swaggy combos use Kung Lao use the setup and just go ham with it maybe start off with Kung Lao and then switch to strike when you really want to win yeah so that's my opinion on uh, Shang Tsung guys let me know in the comments down below what do you think about him? If you enjoyed this one, let me, you know, give me a feedback. So, yeah, i see you in the next one. Make sure to check out, you know, the online gameplay that I have and how do I put everything together and maybe, you know, something that you want to strike for. Obviously, I'm not the best Shang Tsung in the world. I'm still, you know, a casual, probably a bit uh, better than a casual, but I love Mortal Kombat. I like to win games. So, if, if you are the same like as me, okay, just let me know in the comments down below. And uh, thank you for watching, okay? See you on the next one, guys.